Mr. Skip goes back in my summer car. We are here today. Hopefully, it is now Thursday. Uh, the sugar arrived, and I made kill you, and I delivered that. And now we're just waiting for the parts. It should show up relatively soon. So hopefully we get the call. It should be today or tomorrow. So hopefully I don't have to play too long before dude calls me. Got my phone plugged in to tell me my package is there. But I feel like it may have showed up when I was out and about. Because that happens. So I'm thirsty. I need, I need a drink. I need to have a little something something here. Let's have a little drink here. There we go. I got to have a pee. We'll go pee outside because, you know, it's raining and wash it all the way. All right. Uh, perfect. See, this, this is how games should be. You have a pee, you have a drink, and then you get ready to go to town. But I'm hoping he calls. It should be soon. Like, it's been a couple hours of in-game time. And usually it's about two hours-ish, I think, right in about. I haven't been paying too much attention to the time. I was too busy getting my kill you done. So that was, okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, right after I finished that last episode, I went and got my jugs and decided to uh, go back to town the day after that, and I got kill you. My bucket's all falling over there. That's fine. I got to figure out a way to get rid of all the items that are laying around my house. And I don't like this rain. This is, this is, this is my, my tools. I need, to, I need to get these. Tools, come here. Can't have you out in the rain. Perfect. Okay, here we go. So I'm hoping if I head to town, it'll just be there. But I, I don't honestly know. I'm hoping it'll just be there. But there's never any guarantees with these things. But I, I need to get rid of all this stuff. And it just doesn't, it doesn't burn up. I thought that's what this barrel was for, but they don't go away. And it's causing me slowdown. I've waited, like it's been, a, been about, about two and a half hours of gameplay so i'm waiting for that phone call and i know it's always about two and a half hours like on the money so it's been just about there but i don't feel like i should be out in the thunderstorm like i feel like i'm gonna get hit by lightning if i go down to the end of the driveway i feel like that's something he would add to the game but i don't know okay that music's gonna be really loud but my phone's ringing hello Okay, my, my order's there, but I want to figure this out. So how do I how do I get out of here? This is so loud. Okay, we're gonna have to worry about that at another time. We'll play that some other time, but I gotta go get my stuff. I have no confidence in this car anymore. Come on. All right, seatbelts on. Parking brake can be off. All right, so let's. Steering wheel is functioning. I remember to plug it in this time. All right, it's downshift into reverse, and we'll uh. We'll back it up here some. All right. If I, I'm gonna stall it the first time. I always do. I'm learning to feather the clutch a little bit, but it's so sensitive. Like it's so crazy sensitive. There we go. Come on, baby. See, I'm fine if I gotta launch hard because I just rev it up and dump the clutch. But I, I try not to do that often because it's really not good for your transmission. And I feel like, like I also need, like I need to do an oil change. I know that. I was checking the condition of my oil and it looks a little bit dark. So it's, it's probably getting to the point where it needs to be checked. But I just haven't got around to it yet. So we'll go get the nitrous kit. We'll bring it back. And we'll install that and that'll be our episode for today. And then we'll go, uh, the next episode will be getting the tires done. Or maybe I'll do that in my off time, because you guys have seen me install tires before. And then we'll do the drag race. But someone was telling me um, that it's really hard to line up at the drag strip and get it right. So I'm going to have to take a look at how to do that. I, I do look up things sometimes when I, I don't quite understand them. But I'll uh, apparently it's hard to line up at the line and get it right. So we're going to have to try that. There we go. Come on, baby. So we'll take the main road in. I think it's, it's Thursday, which also means I'm probably going to get a fine. Because that always happens to me on Thursdays. And hopefully I haven't killed anybody and I get arrested or something. And I don't want to run into Pina today because I don't have time for his bullcrap. Pina, if you're out there, buddy, I don't need you here. Like, nobody needs a Pina to come ram their car. Like, I've spent enough time. I have repaired the body now, I think, four times. 
at the cost of $8,000 a shot. So, like, I've wasted, like, $30,000 fixing the body. But I think, too, someone says I need to get a paint job in the comments because they, they think I need a better paint job than what I got. So I might do that. But only if they got a similar color to this. I might get um, Flatari to paint my car, but I don't want to get it painted some, like, I like the blue and I would like to keep it if I have a choice or something similar anyway. There we go. Man, there's new spark plugs. There's a whole bunch of more pep in her step. It's about as fast as it was when they were wearing out and I had the race tune on. So the, the spark plugs were making a huge problem. Oh yeah, I still got the, the choke out here. There we go. Is the choke all the way in? I think it's all the way in. Yeah, it's close enough. 14.5, 14.6. You want about 14.7. I think the game recommends like 14.8. But when you take it to the Flatarian tune, he tunes it to 14.7 for the street tune anyway. So that's not terrible. So I try to get it in there. Like I dialed it in myself. It goes off a little bit over time. So I'm always kind of adjusting it here and there. But with the, with the, the extra carburetor, you have to adjust like both, right? So that's a whole thing. What if I should just tail this guy slowly into town to avoid speeding tickets? Now that radar detector goes up. I got to remove it though too, because they get mad if you have a radar. I think they're illegal. Same thing in Canada, you can't have a radar detector. So it's against the law. We'll go, we'll get our nitrous kit. It should be easy enough to install. And then the next time we're out, we can get the drag tires and go practice at the uh, drag strip a little bit. Uh, apparently the bottle comes full. So, and then Flatari can refill your bottle, but you got to leave the car there or the bottle there or something. Yeah, but I'm not going to run the nitrous today because I'm pretty sure, and I don't know this for a fact, but I'm probably going to have to, with the nitrous in there, I'm probably going to have to adjust my timing because you would have to in a real car. So I'm assuming he probably added that, but I guess we'll find out. All we got to do is pick this part up and then I can leave. I'm not visiting Tiamo today because all he does is get mad and he makes fun of me, calls me glumpsy. It's the last thing I need. Okay, come on, make the turn. All righty, park here. This will work. We can probably just leave it running, I'm assuming. Put our neutral there. All right, get out. Let's see here. All right, what do we got? I don't, oh, I got to pay for it. That's what it is. I got to go see him. Son of a gun. Okay, sorry, I had to wait for Tiamo to go stop talking. He was talking so much. So I unopened the, I opened, I unopened the box. I opened the box. We got these parts here. We got the tank. We got this, looks like nitrous injectors. Now, I'm not the most versed with nitrous kits. I've only ever used a couple in my lifetime, and uh, it's been a long time. But uh, it's not, okay, I'm going to say this straight up for all the people out there. It's not called NOS. That's not a thing. That's a company brand. NOS is not a thing. Nitrous is a thing. Oh, right. You know, I could install it here, I guess. I could, couldn't I? I could install it here. But then I gotta drive home, and if I make a mistake. So hopefully this stuff won't get lost. I should have left it in the box, I guess, but hopefully it doesn't fall out on my way home. And if I don't get too aggressive, it shouldn't. So let's close this up here. We're getting our driving mode. Alrighty. Now anybody who wants to know, like everybody's always asking me about mods, I actually do run a mod for this game. Um, I run a frames per second increaser for this game because the frame rate gets really awkward sometimes. And I don't know why. So that's the only mod I run. So people always ask me, do I run any mods? That's the mods I run. I run a modern frame rate increaser or something. And that's it. I don't run anything else because I don't find the mods actually help the game much. And all the mods seem to eliminate the frustration of the game. And not, and that to me is part of the game. So I never remove that. Like there's a backpack mod you can get where you can carry multiple things at once. Now, hopefully none of these parts fall out, so I might take it a bit easy on the way home. Yeah, but there's a whole bunch of mods you can run. Even, like, you can add new cars and stuff to the game, which I might do when I'm done beating everything in its standard form. And that's kind of always been my thing. I try to... Oh, I can't see here. Great. Okay. I try to run games like developers intended them to be played. And that's always been my thing, because I figure the, the developer has a specific vision they're looking to do. Now, I'm not saying don't mod games. I'm all about modifying games. 
But when I'm playing them for my channel, I try to play them like the developer intended. Now, when I get done with it and finally do all the stuff, like get the girl and everything else, then I might mess with some mods because people seem to want to see the game keep going because they keep telling people like, well, the series coming to an end, obviously. Like I'm getting to the point where I've done almost everything. And the only things I have left are the girl, the drag race, and then if I want to win the second level of the rally, which I'm not super concerned about. You know, if people want to keep watching, I want to keep making videos. So if that's what you want to see, then when this is all over, and probably I don't think there's going to be much more than maybe, oh, six or eight episodes more of this. Uh, that's all I need really to finish it up, I think. So if you still want to see it after that, tell me in the comments below and I'll keep making videos. It seems fairly popular. It actually overtook... The Long Drive is my most popular series recently. So if you want to keep seeing it, I'll keep doing it because I like playing it. So it's really up to you guys, not me. I try to play what you guys like to watch. It's so funny, though. Like I was saying the other day, I still get suggestions to play games I've already done complete playthroughs of. Jalopy comes up about once a day. Once a day in the comments, oh, there's this game called Jalopy you should try out. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I already did a series on that. And people are all surprised. I guess, like I've mentioned this before, like when I watch a YouTube personality... I, uh, if I think they should play a game, I will mention it, but I always go through their back catalog of games or I'll search their name in that game. So like for me, for example, I would have searched up scapegoat jalopy to see if I'd ever played it before I make the comment, but that's me, right? I'm a, I'm a really, I don't want to bother anybody and not that any don't, and don't get me wrong. I don't think any, nobody bothers me when they do that. I'm not bothered by it at all, but I know I don't want to be the guy saying something stupid and going, Oh, you should play this when they've already played it. So I always double check to see if they've played it first. But feel free to suggest games anytime. If, even if I played them, it doesn't make me upset. It's just my own personal thing. Boy, my, my throat is so chewed up today because of my allergies. I've been, like, hacking and sneezing this morning. <laughs> it's been a thing. This is all going to work out. <laughs> but we know it goes for me. It's not always a given thing that things are just going to work. I've dropped stuff through the ground before, which makes it disappear. Maybe I should do that. I wonder if I could take all those what is going on there as an accident back there i wonder if i could take those those parts that i don't want anymore that are laying around my yard and just drop them under the ground yeah so just like i said before about the mods the only, the only and i recommend that mod by the way the modern optimization something or other it's called mop modern optimization whatever it uh it really helps your frame rate if you're struggling with frame rate now i wasn't having much of an issue and then one day it just decided, the frame rate decided to crap out, and it just wouldn't fix. So I got that, and boom, I was right back to where I needed to be. And the graphics don't change that much. I noticed a little bit of dithering in the shadows, but nothing particularly different. All right, here we are. We're getting, we're getting closer to home. God, this drive, is, it's like, most games get you to the, to the point real quick. This game is just very happy to make you do stuff over and over again. <laughs> And hopefully nothing fell out on the way home. Because that is a legitimate fear. I've had stuff fall through the floor of the car plenty of times. The toolkit likes to fall through the floor a lot. And I'll find it on the road when I'm driving. <laughs> Which is funny as I'll get out. Now parts don't fall through the floor of the car that easily. But if you hit even a bump that he banged just a bit hard, then shit can fall out. And I don't like that. Because, you know, you don't want to lose all your parts while you're driving around. I've also lost the front splitter more than once hitting a bump and didn't know it was gone until I was on my way home. <laughs> I had to pick it up on my way home. I don't always show this stuff because I don't think people want to see it. But I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people who comment that would say they just want me to do this uncut all the time. But man, some of these episodes, like this one, because of the waiting around uh, for the uh, phone call, I'm like an hour into this recording already. So like it can be quite the... Uh, quite the thing if you uh, try to just record long episodes of it. Now there's some people out there that'd be perfectly happy watching a two hour episode. I don't want to do that because people got to work and stuff and you shouldn't be watching me all night. Go find someone to watch or go find something. Talk to your family. They're, they're always fun. They're, they're nice people. I hear this all the time. All right. We're just about here now. All right. We're going to slow down a little bit. I always downshift super early because I have this weird thing about keeping the power up in the power band. All right, let's see here. Pull it over here onto the grass, I think, this time. And stop. All right, so downshift that out, and then off that, clutch that, seatbelt off, ignition off. There we go. That worked. All right, now we're home again. 
And now comes the biggest fight of this game for me. Getting the hood back on <laughs> after I take it off. All right, close that up. Let's pop these pins. Uh, hood pin. And I like hood pins and stuff, but man, they're a pain in the butt when you're constantly under the hood of your car. All right, let's see here. Okay, so we're going to need my tools. I'm not sure entirely. I, like, I know how a nitrous kit goes on, but I'm not sure for this game, so bring this over here. I'm just, Okay, let's put this right like this, I think. You gonna stay there, bud? Did I open the wrong? I opened the wrong side. I always put the wrong side on. So where do we want to start with this? We got the injectors. We got the button panel, the bottle hole. Okay, so this will go on the intake manifold, or it should anyway, right after the carburetors. Maybe I'm wrong. It, it should. Oh, there it is. Boom. And I'm assuming that's got to be stuck on. Let's see here. Oh, yeah, I can see a bolt there, and it looks like there's one back there. What size is that? That's pretty small. Let's start at the bottom. Let's start with the 6 mil. Oh, wait a minute. I think I was right. Okay, I think I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Let's try that. There we go. There's another one. There we go. Is that it? That's easy enough. Okay, okay. Um. Then what? Okay, we'll install the bracket. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Uh, let's get the bracket then. Where's the, where, now, I'm assuming this goes in the trunk because you won't want an explosive canister right in the cockpit. with. Oh, there it is. You wouldn't want it right in the cockpit with you because I'll tell you, that's a good way to get blown up if something goes horribly wrong. I don't know what size that is, but we'll figure that out. Let's try a 8 mil. But then again, I have no rear seat, so I'm kind of at that point anyway. If it exploded, I'm a dead man. Okay, let's try a 7 mil then. It doesn't look very big. Yeah, it's probably a 10 mil. Everything's a 10 mil. It's always the one you can't find, too. Oh, there it is. All right, put that in. There we go. All right, and then we can put the nitrous tank should go in there. Perfect. Oh, it's got a gauge on it. Okay, let me see this. Oh, I'm too low. Hang on. All right, let me see here. Okay, it just opens and closes. Okay, so you got to manually open and close this thing. That's kind of neat. All right. that's a, I don't want a tow hook. How do I... There we go. We'll take this button panel, and this should go inside the car somewhere. Now, I wonder if this is an all-on, all-off thing, or if there's, like, you have to activate a button. Because normally it's a switch and then a button, but... Steering wheel? Gear shift? Where does this go? Let me see. I would put it, like here to activate it myself and then have the button somewhere else like the steering wheel but we're on the gear or like right beside the gear shift where else could it go um i don't know i don't think it's gonna go on the, the dashboard is it no okay okay it doesn't go here it's not gonna go on the floor oh wait a minute oh okay that works All right. Okay. That that that's functional. Is that everything? It is. No, I don't want to run this until I get a tune. Is there a nitrous tune at at, at Flutari's? Is that a is that a thing you can run? Because I don't want to run it without a tune on it. Because it, it could it could really you can cause a lot of damage real fast with a nitrous kid, man. It explodes in your intake. It's gonna blow your whole intake apart. Or you get too much in a cylinder during combustion, it's gonna it's gonna blow parts of it's gonna blow things apart. Up to and including your pistons. Now this is my nemesis here. Oh, here we go. Here we go. All right, I gotta see. This is where, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, it's up. It's higher than it. Okay, it's higher than I thought. All right, that makes more. That makes a whole lot more sense. Okay, now you jiggle around like the weirdo that. What was that? The weirdo that you are. Put this on here like this. Okay. So nitrous kit, I want to run it, but I know I'm going to have to tune it, and I don't really want to mess with that until I get it. i got to check to see if flatari has got a tuning service. So I'm going to check that on the internet, because I figure it's like checking a catalog before I try to try to run it. But let's... um, Because you don't want to run... Like, you do not want to run nitrous at, a, at an idle. Like, that is... 
waiting to explode if you do that. Like, you want to be in the higher RPMs before you try to run a nitrous thing, because it'll just dump too much fuel, and then you'll explode stuff. All right, let's see here. Will it still start, though? Let's see. Because it should be warm. Let's see here. Enter driving mode. Okay, dashboard. I'm going to try just turning the system on. Okay, the system... Oh, it, tu it, it drops the tune anyway. All right, come on. Come back to normal. Oh, you are way off now. What is going on there? It really screwed up my normal tune. Oh, and it's kind of coming back in there. It's really lean. It's still in the green, though. All right, well, it should be all right, but I'll take it to Fataris for a tune. Oh, I'm super thirsty before I do anything because that's freaking me out. Uh, we'll tune it back to a race tune and get see if he's got a nitrous tune. If he doesn't, then we'll know. But I don't want to run that thing until I get, like, I, I think I'm just going to have to do it on the night, you know, like at the racetrack. Need a drink here. Okay. Boy, I got thirsty quick this time. Because if I go and blow it all up, I'm going to have to replace all those parts, and that's a problem. So I might as well try it at the racetrack, first of all. Besides, I'd like to do one run at the drag track without it connected. And then turn it on and try it there and see how much faster it is, if it's even all that faster. Like, I'm looking at this thing's probably got about a 15-second quarter mile time, probably 14, 15-second quarter mile time at the very best. You know, it's a false, it's a, it's a small four-banger that makes about 120 horsepower, so I don't see it doing anything. It's not going to be a real drag car, but we'll give it a shot. And front-wheel drag is always hard because getting traction is a pain in the ass. But we can check. Like, I'm going to have to get tires from Fatari anyway. So, and I think, like, I could buy wheels. Like, like if there was lightweight wheels, I'd probably buy them. But all these wheels are, I don't mind this one, but all the wheels are pretty ugly other than the ones I got, in my opinion. So I'll do, So what I'm going to do is I was going to run the GT wheels with the rally or with the uh, drag slicks on them, but I think I'm going to run the steel ribs if that's possible. Just because it's ugly and it'll be awesome. I think that'll be slick as all get out. And that way we can, um, can I... Can I paint these rims? Is that a, is that an option? Can I can I paint these? Is this a thing I can paint? Oh, I can. I can. I can't paint that one because it's upside down. But yes, we'll paint those white and use those for our rally tires. Because I know part of it is because I know everybody really, really wants me to run these. And I don't want to run them because that's funny. <laughs> No, the reason I don't want to run them, honestly, is because these tires are on here already. So if I want to switch back to a road tire, I can just flop those rims on. And then I can take these rally tires off and leave them on these rims. So like that way I can just put them on these rims. That way I have all three set up. And then maybe I'll buy a new set of rims at some point to put the drag radials on, but we'll see. But either way, I think we're done here. This went really smooth, like way smoother than any human being should have in my summer car. And that is just not normal for me. So... I'm going to leave this episode here, so thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Hit that little bell. Next episode, it's drag tires and then drag race. So over the next two episodes, we'll be getting tires and racing. I might do the tires in my spare time because you guys have already seen me put tires on a car, so that's not necessary. So the next episode may very well be the drag race. So we'll see. But either way, you know me. If you love this, hit the bell, subscribe, leave a comment. Uh, tell me what color I should paint my steel wheels. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Thank you again so much for watching. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. Everything in my driveway is blue. It's kind of weird. Out.